Can Westbrook win a championship in OKC? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Uh, I mean, if you're the Thunder, you still got to do everything you can to keep him. I mean, this is a top 10 guy, probably top five guy. I know he's the MVP of the regular season, the less meaningful of the two seasons. Like I say, I understand he wants to average a triple-double. Like, it's too late to turn that clock back now. But this team, especially now with the new additions, if they, they could be better, I'm just saying that. That's just my opinion. They could have a better record if he didn't do as much. Yes. Shannon, how much is Westbrook to blame for All that? of it. All of it, Skip Bayless. All. Big A. Big A. Even bigger L at the end. All of it. This is what's happened in Russell Westbrook's world. Excuse after excuse after excuse. By the way, if Oklahoma City's so bad, why do they always lead going into the fourth before Russell Westbrook implodes? And right now, if you're Russell Westbrook, you just become the MVP. You've taken your team to the playoffs. And there's the difference between being a star player, an all-star player, and a great player. And that's why LeBron James is a great player. Because he can take five, four other guys and say, get on my back, we're going to play off. Look, he's a top two MVP candidate, but winning matters, produ production matters, and expectation. James Harden and Russell Westbrook's expectations were on par until the season played out, and we saw how exponentially better Houston was. Now, mind you, through the first three quarters, he had only shot the ball 25 times. He put the ball up 18 times in the fourth quarter. He made four of those shots. He's amazing. You know, he's an all-star. He's top tier. But to me, in order to be a superstar, you've got to be able to take that next step. Because I still believe that Russell Westbrook is slightly more driven by starring than winning. One of the things I have realized, and many of us have, that if you want something out of life, if you want to change yourself, if you want to acquire something, if there's some goal that you want to reach, that is really not easy as some people will make us feel. That living your dream, changing your behaviors, overcoming negative habits, it's challenging. It's hard. And you will determine whether your life is a smash office hit or flop. You'll determine that. My motto is why not, and I always stick by it. Regardless of what people say, what is possible, what's not possible, I continue to think why not, I continue to strive to be the best I can be.